Hey YouTube, it's Andrew the Bearded Giant and uh, today I am going to do my first attempt at a uh, rocket stove or um, my variation of a rocket stove. Okay, so I went to the steel uh, store, the steel yard, whatever, and uh, picked up two scrap pieces and had them cut me another piece. Uh, so this is about $29 in steel. Uh, so not too bad. All right, so what we got going on here is So this piece and this piece were scrap and I had them cut me this piece and so these are four by four four by four um, square tube uh, Three eighths inch thick I believe um, So anyway So the general idea is this will be the bottom plate, this will be the air intake, and this will be the gravity feed um, fuel loading, and then the heat will or the, the heat will come out the top, and I'll make a, a plate deal up there so I can put a pot on it. So it will look something like that all right so the first step is I'm gonna cut a 45 in this uh, and then cut out the pieces I need in here so let's uh, let's do it all right. I have this clamped in at 45 I'm using my new uh, fabbed up piece from from my uh, abrasive chop saw on this new cold cut saw let us cut this All right, this saw is already worth what I paid for it. That was an easy cut. I can pick this steel up. It's a little warm, but it's not hot. And it's clean, it's a clean cut. Here's a little preview of what it'll look like. So the next step is to trace out where I'm going to cut here and then cut that out probably with um, a cut wheel. All right. I'm going to use this uh, Sharpie and just trace out. I'm gonna use this uh, four and a half inch cutoff wheel and try to cut this out here. Alright, so I sketched out on here where I want to cut out so the feed can go right in there. We got a little off kilter there, but I think it'll be fine.
So, I <laughs> am not very graceful with the cutoff wheel, but there is a hole there, and I think that'll work. I think that'll work just fine. Got all the corners and edges I think I, I need to weld ground down so I can get a good good weld there. I'm going to try to cut some rebar and put in here um, kind of as a grate to keep the wood from falling down. Alright, to cut three of these uh, pieces of rebar and I have one of them in here on uh, uh, with this vice grip. I'm going to try to weld that in place in there and then weld these other two in there and that will be like a um, uh, great or stop so uh, uh, anyway it's so the, the, the wood burning can happen in there this into place and uh, I'll go from there. it up there now I'll go down the sides all right time to do some welding around my air intake myself with my welds and other times I am horrified. I think this is one of those times where I'm horrified. Anyway, but it's going well. Got the air chamber in and uh, now I'm just I got the four corners tacked. Now it's time to weld the four seams. basics of my rocket stove so I'm gonna make a, a thing up here 
so I can put a pot or a pan. Uh, but this is supposed to be the fuel chamber where the sticks go, and this is the air chamber, and it brings the air in and superheats and goes up this way. So I tacked on this little piece of rebar because it was a little front heavy. I thought having this space here would help keep it stable, uh, so I added this and uh, it, uh, it doesn't want to tip. So that's good. I think I'll um, come back to this tomorrow, which you'll see, and I'll, uh, I'll probably wire brush it all and uh, rattle can it. I got some high temperature paint left over um, for something, so I'll, uh, I'll shoot it with that, and then uh, we'll test it out. We'll cook some hot dogs or something on the top. All right, here is my maiden try. My first try with my new rocket stove I just built. So I had some of this uh, high heat Rust-Oleum. It's good for up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. I sprayed it down. I got some, a uh, little bit of cedar shavings, uh, three small sticks of high sap wood and just some pieces of fur and a lighter. And uh, so this is the burn chamber. So this is the this is the burn chamber and this is where the air intake is. And this is the exhaust. Uh, at some point I'm gonna make uh, something that goes up here. So here's the test. I'm gonna try to cook some bacon in here. Oops. Fell apart too. I'm demonstrating I'm not that great of a cook. That's okay. Pretend we're camping. And uh, I'm cooking bacon. made this stand here to put a frying pan on or a pot or a kettle and uh, seems to be working. So <clears throat> this is the bearded giant cooking bacon in his backyard on his rocket stove he just made using a Leatherman he carries every day. Hopefully those who know me can appreciate what I'm doing. So I think this rocket stove will be uh, definitely something I take car camping. It's a little heavy to be carrying around, well, unless you're, you drive to where you camp. It's kind of cool, kind of dig it. It's getting hot enough I need to extend my cooking utensil. Alright, 
got a little smoke in my eyes, but I have bacon, and that's what counts. Is, uh, bacon is the, uh, I don't know, bacon is life. So, <clears throat> thank you for watching, and I appreciate you. subscribing, liking, commenting, share your experiences with a uh, rocket stove or a camp stove. So, um, thanks friends. I'm going to enjoy my bacon I cooked in my backyard. Peace out.